Today, I'll show you how to make a landing page for free. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make professional looking pages like these ones here. Best of all, I'll show you how to do it all with a tool that has a 100% free plan. Step one is to get access to this software called system.io. We're gonna be using this software to create the landing page. Click the link in the description below. Once you see this screen, enter your email address and click get my free account and you'll be signed up with a free plan. There are no catches, 100% free plan is actually free and it allows you to create three sales funnels which means that you can create landing pages for free and they'll be fully functional. Step two, decide what your landing page should look like. For that, you can use Instagram or YouTube and find out what kind of landing pages other popular accounts use. For example, if my niche is weight loss, I can check out what this Instagram account does. Generally in the profile, they'll have a link either to an opt-in page or to a sales page, so some kind of a landing page. If we click these, we can see where this leads to. And here is an example of a landing page that this Instagram account uses. If I mouse over these buttons, I can see that this is a ClickBank affiliate link. So if I click this button, it'll take me to the ClickBank offer via the affiliate link that belongs to that Instagram page. So let's say you wanted to do something like this. I'm gonna show you how to recreate this in system.io. Once you've signed up for your free account at system.io, go to the funnels area at the top and click create to add a new funnel. Enter your funnel name, choose your funnel goal. I'm going to choose sell here because we're creating a landing page to direct the traffic to an affiliate link. If you're planning to build an audience, so to collect email addresses, then watch the video in the description below I've actually got a detailed video on how to set up an opt-in page on system.io as well. It's just linked in the description. So for now, let's go with sell. We've got our funnel, so let's click on it. By default, our funnel has got these steps on the left, order form, thank you page, and an inactive page. We can go ahead and create a step and let's add a sales page. So we'll call it sales page. Sales page from the drop-down, click save. And let's move it to the top of the funnel. So I'm gonna click and drag it and it'll go to the very top. System.io by default includes a lot of templates for various types of pages in the funnel. So for the sales page, you can see here are all the different templates that are already configured and you can use. And there are lots more pages down here below. You can go next and go through all of these templates. Let's choose this template to start from. So let's click select. You can literally use any of them because the steps to edit them will be exactly the same. For the name, let's leave sales page, URL path, it will be cbc.system.io slash sales page like this. And let's now click edit page so that we can finalize the look and feel of this page. All of these are editable. The page already looks very professional and very beautiful. We can just finalize it and make it look as close as possible to this. All right, so this page has got some kind of a header at the very top. So we'll probably want to get rid of this whole section because we don't want any of these buttons at the top. So just click on this section and then at the top, you can click delete like this and press OK. So then we want to place something like this, say yes to a better life. So let's create a new section. I'm just gonna click section and drag and drop it up here to the very top. And then I can actually just uh, select this text and duplicate it like this. So I can click duplicate and I can drag and drop it over here to the top into that section. And then let's say if I wanted to make it exactly the same, I can just copy this control C on the keyboard and then select all of this and control V on the keyboard. Now let's say if I wanted to copy the actual font, there is a little shortcut to that. So press F12 on your keyboard and you'll get these what's called developer tools and you can actually find out what font it is. So click this little arrow and then mouse over to this and you'll have this open up. So this is basically the HTML code that's underlying for all of these text. And with that selected, go to this little window at the bottom and scroll down until you see something that says font. And you'll see here it says font family Nunito. So basically this font is Nunito. That's how you can find it. So let's see if system has got that as well. So make sure you click into this text. Then under font type, we're going to click and choose Google fonts. And we can see here that we've got Nunito font. So we select that and let's make this a little bit larger. So for font size, I'm going to increase it to perhaps 36 or so. And you can see that now this bit at the top looks very similar to this. We've got the same font. Everything is click and drop. That's why I really like system. So you can click in here and if you want to reduce this space at the top between the sections, then you can click on it and scroll down and you'll see that there is something that says padding. So you can reduce the padding 
to make this section, let's say 20, and at the top you can do the same, just type in 20, and now the space is reduced. If you wanted to copy this headline, you can do that here. So we've already got our headline set up, so you can type in the headline that you want to use in here. So let's say this is my headline, I can highlight some of it with a red color if I wanted to, just to demonstrate to you. Let's say we select this, and then at the top where we've got the color, click that and make it red. There we go. And let's say if we now wanted to add a button with our affiliate link. Well, first of all, we already have a button here, so we can just move this button up to position it where we want it. If you wanted to create a button from scratch, you can just go here into elements and find the button in this list. We've got button over here. So just click that and drag it down. And we've got our button over here. So let's just drag it up to where we want to place it. Adjust the margin. Let's say we wanted a bit more of a margin at the bottom. Okay, so we'll make it like this. And then just fill out these details on the left side. So for the button, let's say we wanted to open the URL. Under the URL, this is where you can insert your affiliate link if you're trying to promote a product or you're trying to sell something, you can fill out all the other details here. Let's say we wanted to say, click here for instant access or something like that. For the font type, you can choose any font that you want. Let's say we want to make it Poppins and we want to make it a little bit larger like this. Subtext, you can delete if you don't want it. For the color, make it any color you want. If you wanted rounded corners, this is where you can give it rounded corners. Let's say I just want to make 10 for each of them. It gives it that nice effect of rounded corners. So you can see how easy the drag and drop system of editor in system.io is. Once you've got everything you need in here, you can delete all of these sections that you don't really need. And of course, if you want to reuse any of these sections, you totally can to make your page as beautiful as possible. Let's say I'm happy with this. Here you can just click save changes and then click the exit button. And we've got our page. So just click this link to copy the link into the clipboard and then you can open it in your browser. And here we go. This is what we've created. This is our landing page. Do you guys think this was easy to do? Drop me a comment in the description if you thought that system.io was pretty cool to use as a tool. Lastly, I wanted to talk about pricing. As I mentioned, system.io actually has a free membership plan that is fully functional. So there are no catches. You can sign up for free. There are just certain limits. Like you can have 2000 email contacts. You can only have three sales funnels, one blog, etc. but it is fully functional. There are no actual limitations in terms of the function. There are no annoying upgrades or no one's going to be asking you to upgrade unless you actually need a higher tier plan. Now, if we compare this to the pricing of ClickFunnels, which is another very good and very popular uh, funnel building tool that a lot of YouTubers promote, you can see how much more expensive ClickFunnels is. The basic plan starts at 147. There is no free plan. There's only a free trial, but it's not a free forever plan. And it starts at $147 per month. Whereas with System, even if you choose to go for one of the premium plans with fewer limitations, premium plans that have much more included in them, the most expensive unlimited plan is actually $97 per month, but there are plans as low as $27 per month. Whereas of course with ClickFunnels, the cheapest one is $147 per month. So the difference is huge. That's why I really recommend system.io to all the viewers of my channel. And if you guys want to grab your free account, just click the link in the description below or type in this link here on the screen into your browser. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to learn how to create a landing page that has an opt-in form and capture email addresses using system.io, then watch this video next. I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that step-by-step -step in this video over here that I recorded a little while ago. My name is Greg Kononenko. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.